Hello, thank you for joining me. This is our, wind, our uh, video number eight in regard to the door for our week uh, two assignment. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to finish up the window and creating a separate body for that window. So let's do this. I'm looking at the window up here, and I'm not really satisfied with the way it looks. It kind of has a pretty steep angle over here, and what I'm thinking about is maybe making this so that this line comes down almost vertical, or maybe even vertical when it ends there. So. Let's go ahead and uh, edit uh, sketch number six and see what we can do about that. Right now we have a dimension up here of 20 and an eighth, which is kind of an arbitrary dimension. We can modify that a little bit. Let's do what we did uh, in regard to the center line on top and put a center line in here too. And I believe if we take this center line and that center line, this center line being the arc and that one being vertical, made that tangent to each other, we can get pretty close to that effect. It does uh, fully define our uh, sketch because it can only be a uh, specific distance up here and a distance down here. Uh, in tangent to these two lines, there's only one uh, angle they could be, and that's uh, and one radius that that could be, and that's probably what it turns out to be. So we could put a dimension on that. It'll be a driven dimension. So we're going to make this uh, driven and go to OK just so we can see what that is. OK, green check mark. That also updates this uh, sketch number seven, which drives our window cut. We should probably call that as such. So we'll call that window cut. And now we're now it's time for our window. So we don't really need sketch six anymore. Let's go ahead and right click on that and turn that off. And uh, let's turn window set or sketch number seven on so we can see what we're doing here. So this one, what we want to do is we're going to put in some glass right here in the middle. So we're going to pick on the front plane. So we're going to pick glass right in the middle of that. Front plane's right in the middle there. And we're going to borrow sketch number seven after we click on sketch. Go to the sketch elements, go to convert entities. And uh, we're going to click on uh, sketch number eight. I guess it's called, nope, it's called sketch seven. Let's see if we can open that up. Click on sketch seven to borrow that. And then go to check mark and check mark again. So now we have the profile of that window as defined by the sketch. So again, if this sketch is changed, if that sketch changes in sketch seven, sketch eight will change too. So let's go to Features, Extrude Boss Space, Mid-Plane Extrusion, so we can uh, extrude right from the front plane on both sides in equal distance. And let's make that uh, maybe half an inch, 0.5 inches. And this is important, let's not merge that result. And go to check mark, green check mark. So now I believe we can define a different material for that. So now if you go back up here to the top of your uh, manager, we now have two bodies in here. We have a regular door body, and then we have a boss extrude here. And since we didn't rename that, we're going to call that window down here. We're going to call that window down here, and that calls it there. And it is window cut. What it is, it borrowed this uh, name from that uh, previous feature. But we can also rename this uh, body up here. We're going to call this just door. So now we have our door body and our window body. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to finish this up.